I kind of grab different creative disciplines and then I inject some technology into them and then somehow miraculously it seems to work. I came from Philips, I was a research scientist then and I was looking for sort of something new to do. So I approached Ron Arad and he had these ideas in mind and he didn't really have the capability how to realize them. So I started working with him. Straight away some very iconic and recognizable projects came about and that really kick-started my career. It was very interesting working with him and with Zaha with Philip Stark and just to see how these people operate, you know, how they work. Uh, it's just an amazing kind of glimpse into the top people in this business. My background in engineering is really the basis to all my work. Uh, it allows me to use electronics and to use engineering almost as the canvas to my projects. My grandparents are painters and my uncle is a designer and my aunt, she did sculpture, like metal sculptures, so I kind of grew up with all of that. Once you've got this mental image of what you want to do, then all I have to do is like sit down and do the CAD drawings and, you know, talk to the people how to make the stuff, talk to my software engineer how to write the software, I tell him exactly what I need. I actually try to keep projects very simple. I try to keep the ideas quite accessible to a level that even a child can enjoy it. And I think because of that simplicity, uh, many projects, they have a certain charm and that's what I try to achieve. I want people to play with them and be charmed by them and that way they remember them. There are meanings in there that go a little bit beyond uh, what you see at the first sight, but uh, even if you just have a, a very quick and superficial uh, experience that I, I want that to work. <laughs> <laughs>